not that it's deep or cold, other than the air temperature is 40 degrees, but this is not really what I thought I was going to do today. That's too far away to get leverage on. I want to cast downstream. I think Matt's full of crap. He's probably getting a good laugh at me right about now. Seriously. That's not what I want. I don't know what I'm going to do today. Alright guys, this is going to be a pain today. It's 42 degrees. I got current going backwards, small area of river. I was really hoping that was a smallmouth. Got two rods, I should probably only brought one, but we'll see what happens today. It's going to be so oh, sketchy, so, so sketchy. There we go. For Smalley of the day, he's going to take me into the current. I don't know how Matt does this. This is going to be tough today. Come on. I got trouble hooks, so I'm not messing around. There. Little one. Let's get your big, big, big grandpa. There we go. I'm at a little fork in the river. Tied up so I don't drift too bad. And look at that. A really quality smallie right there. A couple sets of treble hooks, so we're gonna be careful. Yeah, my fingers are giving out. Get me in there. There. There, and I control you a little bit. Look at that. He's probably oh 14 inches maybe. Not huge. But we'll definitely take him for this cold, 42 degree windy day in October. It's been raining for a week. I had to say the heck with it, fight the weather. I get myself a nice little smallmouth. Yeah, let's get some more of those. All right, guys. I got to be in the yak anglers out in this area. You got like a five to six pounder yesterday. And you know what I know? Only way to the spot is via kayak and I got day old prints down here. Those are matte prints. Let's see if I can get one. There we go. A little jigging smallly here. I'm just kind of dinking around I guess. Trying to get a plan for the rest of the day. I don't know that I want to fight the current so bad. And this is uh the end of the road so I'll take a few casts up here. Cute little smallmouth. He really wanted that jig too. That's a decent one. That's a decenter one. There's a bunch by these trees, but I can't get the kayak in here. And they're almost, I got, right behind there is my spook pencil lure hanging upside down on the tree. I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro. Is there a nice warm water right through here? I'm going to give this a little bit longer. Let's see if I can pull a couple more out. That's a beautiful fish. Alright guys, this comes down to, oh my gosh. comes down to how far would you go to save your favorite lure or to get in some serious trouble. I think I gotta have my lure back. They're 14 bucks retail so got that back and maybe Maybe I can 
ditch this first cast or two. Guessing probably not. Bad idea. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, look at that. I don't think I can go anywhere. I'll get stopped here eventually. I really want to fish this, so here I am fishing it. I really want the other side of that tree, but there we go. I knew there's fish over here. I just couldn't get my jig in front of them. So call that. Stop flapping. Not huge, but oh, baby, you are worth it. There we go. Cool guy. Want some big guys. It's not going to take long for this river to push me back to where I launched. See if I can make the most of it though. There we go. Another little one. I see some bigger ones. They'll get bigger. There we go. I saw that one. I've seen some bigger ones, I just can't pause on and get to them. That's a nice fish though. Oh my gosh. The current is just taking me like crazy. I gotta watch out for rocks that don't fall in. Got some fight to them today. Yeah. Get some more of those yet today. Alright guys, <clears throat> I just switched a new spot. And I'm using a little Z-Man uh, four inch swimmer and a Mustad uh, bullet head jig. I've had a couple bites and I finally pulled one out. So I think I'm gonna go with a swim bait over the jig. See if I can get myself a few more. I'll jump on the kayak, have myself a peanut butter sandwich, get some fishing. There we go. It's actually a fish. There we go. I don't know that they're super aggressive today, but they don't like to be lipped. There we go. When they're on, they fight. The bigger ones. That is a nice smallie. I'm gonna net him. That's a good one. Oh, I'm glad I netted him too. He came out. That's more of a pig. Switch the drift bait. Maybe that's what they want. I'm gonna get a measurement on this guy real quick. My board goes a 19, and you are. just over 17 and a half. That's a nice smallie right there. I think I'm gonna stick with a jerk bait. I'm hoping to expand my board yet today. All right guys, definitely looks like it's gonna be a jerk bait day. I started off top water, switched to jigs, swim bait. I mean, I've got everything on kind of everything, but I think they're not, they're getting this on a pause. Said the air temperature is only about 45 now. Not huge, but I got something. Scared it's a northern. I'm gonna roll. Don't want to mess with him super bad. Don't lose my jerk bait either. Hooks, hooks, hooks. Tree. I've seen a lot of these today, and I've managed to avoid most of them. I 
Not this one. Okay. We clear of trees pretty much. The pike. I get you out of here. Oh, I like to go nicely too. I got hashed in one of my winter videos for kicking one down a hole. So I've been trying to release him nicely. That's what I get. I should have chucked him in the air. Go. Oh yeah. There we go. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. They definitely guess want top water today. I thought that was carp jumping out there, and I did see carp, but this guy really, yeah, you're hooked all kinds of ways. Get you. Ah, you're about 15. Let you go. Nice fish. Boy, they're out in the middle. Another one. Not huge. I don't know where they are though. Come on. There we go. It's a nice little smallie. Hitting a 110 pencil. Definitely wanted that. That was a good blow up too. You got one? I completely missed mine by me. Good one? There we go. That one's okay. It's running at me though. There. I didn't. That's a nice one. I could use a good pitcher. Got net him. He's pretty. <laughs> Net's definitely big enough. Oh yeah, he's he's nice. Heck yeah, man. Gotta love that extended top water bite. <laughs> He was probably, probably one of the only places in the state that you'll still get them on top water right now, maybe here in Monticello. I agree with you. It's, it's amazing to be almost mid-October and have a top water bite going on. Yeah. I mean, usually this is about the time of year that I'll catch them on top water through, but it's been so cold and it's been like colder than average lately. That's a pretty one. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's good lighting out here. Cloudy days are good for fish. Yeah. Sweet. I got uh, I got my ice fishing gear on. I got my fleece line jeans. Yeah, yeah, I got my my. Uh, I got my striker my sweatshirt. On on and my beanie. My winter boots. Yeah, I, I got I got a warmer hat. And my hat he, I might have to throw on a little bit here. He's 17. Yeah. They're healthy though, aren't they? He's young. I thought he was gonna be 19, 20. Got Andy Yak angler Matt in the background. It is October 7th, and we were. We're fishing topwater smallmouth, Minnesota. Looks like he's got a nice one over there too. Jumping around on him. I don't know how the GoPro is picking this up. I know I'm a ways away. I'll come up close and check him out. Big one? Oh yeah. I better come up and get a picture of you. I saw him smack it in the background. Oh yeah, you got your hands full, don't you? Oh, that's a fat one. Yeah, it is. I gotta get I gotta get closer to you. Pretty one too. Counting them. Yeah. Counting them.
Top water October smallmouth. That just amazes me. That's a good one. Oh yeah. That's a good one too. Oh, it's a pike. Yeah. Oh man. I thought that was a nice one. I smashed that sucker too. I did too. <laughs> well, you're not going in my net, I know that. I got excited there. Yeah. That's it. Let's stay on. That's a good one. I think so. Yeah. Oh yeah. Patty. That's a tank. Oh, he's huge. He's huge. That's gonna, that might push my uh, master angle right there. I'll kind of hold on to you and drop my pole here so we don't go. Let me get this hook out first. Yeah, that thing's huge. He's got a huge mouth too. Yeah, that's a tank. <sighs> oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 21, I bet. He's not. No? Wait. Yeah, pinch that tail 20 and a half. Let me get his mouth real. Let's get <laughs> that 21. Yeah. Nice. Dude. He's a little crooked yet. Junk. That's my master. Heck yeah, dude. I gotta weigh him. You got a scale with you? I do. Somewhere under all this mess. I definitely need some pictures. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah, hold him down just a little bit. <laughs> On top water too, that's awesome. That is awesome. I mean, yeah, you're fine. My scale's in here. It's just a little ratty from catching catfish, but... Oh my gosh. Four and a half? Yeah, four, three. Make that's sure this... Me. She's thick. Yeah. That's a nice fish though. Awesome. Uh, it's just fat. It's just I think she's thick. Oh well. Yeah. I don't know. I'm happy. That's that's Maybe a heck of small now. Four and a half is. Yeah. Yeah. She probably she might be my longest though. Yeah, that, was a, that was a nice one. Whew. All right, guys. It's about eight hours later from when I started this morning. Back up um, close to the power plant. I was at earlier. And the yak angler decided to join me. We paddled the long way back up here to see if we can get some more hogs. Probably going to... You know what, let's just do this because there's a lot of current. It's October, we're catching rods and trees. Matt's probably laughing at me over there. <laughs> uh, it's gonna get too dark for my GoPro here shortly. We're gonna just drift back to the trucks here eventually. No big hurry. It's probably warmed up to 43 degrees right about now. We're out of the wind, pretty nice. October topwater smallmouth bite, who would have guessed? Uh, not done kayaking for the year, I hope. Just enjoying the, the fall foliage, the nice day. Finally, we've got a break in the weather. And I'm probably gonna end my video here unless we catch something awesome. But like I said, it's gonna get too dark. Even if I catch a few more, you're not gonna see anything unless it's a, a gigantic one. So thanks for watching and maybe I'll go for muskies next. I don't care, I love watching you catch fish. No, it's not a little one. <laughs> it surface and it looks huge at first. You gotta hold them up though. <laughs>